Hello DIYers, I got something really exciting today. In front of me is Tekton's Service Wrench prototype set. There was only a hundred of these made. So let's unbox this and we can check them out together. So we're just gonna dive right into it. I've never opened these before, so we'll see what's inside together. Very cool, good packaging. So far so good. Clean this up to make it look pretty. Okay, 13 piece service wrench set in SAE sizes from 3 fourths inch to 1 and a half inches. I really like this black oxide finish that they had these in. Let's open these up. We'll just get them all out on the table first. Let's see, is there anything I can mention while I continue to lay these out? Uh, first, they're at a 15 degree angle. These are CNC milled. I believe Tekton says they're laser cut. They're really, really thin. And after I lay these out, I'll bring some combination wrenches over so we can do some comparisons. Once again, I'm getting caught out on trying to do fractions. All right, let's see how far I can get. Three fourths. The markings are actually pretty hard to see. I don't even know if I can show it to you on the camera. There it is. That's how hard it is to see it. Seven eighths. Let's see. One and one fourth. Three eighths. One and one eighth. That's two sixteenths. I know some fractions. Bigger than seven eighths. All yeah, right. The black oxide finish is really nice. Like I said earlier, the marking's a little bit hard to read. Here you go on the camera, you can kind of see it. I'd maybe take some white marker or something and just go over these. The markings only on one side as well. It's completely blank on the other side. They're relatively thin. They feel pretty hard. They're probably too hard and I wouldn't want to over torque using the uh, square drive that they built into this. And just for a size comparison, I went and found the biggest gear wrench combination wrenches that I have. So we'll relay these out so I can show you what they look like side by side. So here you go. These are the biggest SAE wrenches that I currently own next to these service wrenches. So this is definitely made for industrial use for large vehicles and large hydraulic lines. I'm excited to work on a vehicle that would actually utilize these. I can definitely see how this can come in handy even on a vehicle. You know, there's like hydraulic lines and fuel lines where, you know, if the fitting were to be one inch big, you wouldn't want to try to fit this combination wrench in and get there. It probably wouldn't work very well. Most of these lines go into like the firewall where, where just your angle of approach is not going to fit very well. But then you can see something like this. This is really nice. You basically get in there, get your work done. And so we'll take the one inch one just because it's the biggest one that I can compare against. It's pretty awesome how thin they are compared to a combination wrench. I don't know if you can tell here. I can also go grab my digital caliper and we'll do a little bit of a measurement here. You could tell by the length, it's more than half shorter. So I have my Harbor Freight Pittsburgh digital caliper here. I don't know how accurate it is, but we'll give it a quick measure. So the size of the head is about seven millimeter, as you can see here on the screen, compared to the gear wrench, which is about 10, a little bit over 10 millimeters. The square drive is also very interesting. Here I have my favorite 3 8 flex head ratchet from gear wrench. You can see how you can kind of get some fun, interesting angles on this thing. You can also use a torque wrench here and Tekton has an entire webpage to help you do the calculations uh, because when it's not angled straight, the torque wrench numbers are going to be off and you got to keep that in mind. And here we go. We've laid them all back out again. One other thing to mention is that I haven't had the opportunity to try it out myself, but I'm really curious because of how thin these wrenches are, if you could use these wrenches for something like a fan clutch assembly. 
So that's something to test because there's definitely enough sizes here to get on both sides and to use it. Since I do have the caliper, we can measure the inside width of the open end. So let's pick something that has an even number. Maybe we'll go back to the one inch one. So let's see how close we are to one inch. We'll zero this out. So not bad. Again, this is a Harbor Freight caliper, so I don't know how accurate it is, but it does say 1.011 inches, which feels like it'll be a pretty tight fit on a fastener. It feels pretty good. I know that these aren't forged. These are actually cut out of a piece of steel. I imagine that I wouldn't try to use a breaker bar or anything with them. I, I would really only want to use it on fittings that are kind of made for the size of this handle. I actually like the way they feel. They feel, you know, I don't have a hardness tester, but I feel like they're, they're going to be really durable. Like these are going to last a really long time. And full caveat for the YouTube audience, this is all just anecdotal with me touching it. I think the coolest thing about this set is that from the smallest to the largest, the handle sizes are about the same. That's really cool. And I think this groove also is great for getting that extra little grip in case you need it. Personally, I think I would like smaller wrenches. If Tekton did an add-on pack of smaller wrenches, I'd probably pick those up. And also metric. I would be excited about metric. Pricing wise, I think right now at the prototypes $275, it's a little hard to recommend, especially when the Pittsburgh sets are, I think, $80 each for an SAE set that looks exactly like this, uh, except not in black oxide. And of course they have a metric set as well. But I think things like the black oxide finish, if you're into that, it's really attractive. And I think the 3 8 square drive optionality in the handle could come in handy in the future. I'd like to see if the prototype pricing comes down. You know, this survey is supposed to be worth $100. So it already feels like it's going down to $150 range. Could maybe come down a little bit more. And that's it. I hope you guys like this unboxing and kind of quick first impressions review of Tekton's prototype service wrench set. Again, there's only a hundred of these sets out there. So if you're a person that also happened to pick up one of these sets, please leave a comment. I'd love to meet you and talk to you a little bit more about how you're using these wrenches. And if you're someone that doesn't have the Tekton service wrench set, but do use service wrenches in your particular field of, of service, I'd love to hear from you as well on what you use it for. Uh, so I am very, very curious what, you know, people who get their money's worth do with these wrenches. Thanks for watching this video. I'm just a DIYer that's making YouTube videos and trying to help people learn about tools and how to fix their car. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing. Every week I release a video either about new tools that I purchased or I use those tools to do DIY car repair videos. Thanks for watching this video and I hope I'll see you on the next one. My name's Alan and this is Metaloop. Thanks for watching.